We have the privilege now of being joined by 2019 BPS lecturer, Dr. Carol Robinson. It is really great to have you here with us today. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so Dr. Robinson, you are renowned for your pioneering use of mass spectrometry for your research into the 3D structure of proteins. So talk to me a little bit about this because this is the topic of your talk. Give yes. us a little information. So my talk will be about mass spectrometry, but it's also about my life, and I'm going to try and intertwine the two. So I started in mass spectrometry when I was age 16, and I'm still there. So this is, a, for me, a very passionate subject. I'm very uh, passionate about it, I should say. I really want to see how we can use it to learn new information about cells. The talk will follow the history of the development of the technique. So when I first started, we were interested in looking at an individual protein, how it folds from its unfolded to its very carefully choreographed folded state. And then following that, how we can use that to then look at how it interacts with other proteins in these sort of very carefully orchestrated assemblies that form in cells. So part of the title is Mass Spectrometry Comes of Age. So what exactly do you mean by coming of age? Uh, coming of age. I'm not sure why I've put that title. Maybe it's for <laughs> me, coming of age. But it's also, um, I think for a long time, people didn't accept that you could use mass spectrometry for structure because it's in the gas phase. You imagine if you're looking at a protein and it's surrounded by water in NMR or it forms a crystal crystallographically. People are quite happy with that. But if you put it from here into the vapor, then people say, well, that's never going to hold its structure. It's going to completely invert or completely change its, its uh, whole, whole shape. So putting things into the gas phase was seen as very high risk and not accepted. So I think coming of age means being accepted for what you are, which is what we all hope to be. And are you at that point now, or is that still, you're still getting there? I believe so, and every year we make another step that makes me think, yes, now people are really going to love this as much as I do, and they're going to be passionate about using it in all different cellular situations. So talk to me about the future. So you've talked to me a little bit about how we got to where we are now, and people are starting to accept it. What happens next? Just this last year we had some other breakthroughs which I was very excited about because it meant that we could now take things directly from cell membranes and this to me has always been something I'd wanted to do because previously we'd had to put them into detergents or other things to then study them but if you could take them in their natural environment what more could we learn? This for me was very exciting. And when you are looking to the future, you see big um, developments 10 years, 20 years down the road, or is this even faster? Well, I have a quite short time scale in mind. <laughs> so I'm thinking the next five years, we'll be looking at cell surfaces, seeing what's happening on cell surfaces, but without having to disrupt them so much as, as we currently do. So I think this is a very exciting way forward. It's fascinating. So you've got the whole conference here, you're going to have a, you'll have a crowded room. What do you want the attendees to take away from your talk? I always think I want to inspire people to believe that they could have this career if they wanted to. So I always think there's nothing special about what I've done. I got lucky. I had some breakthroughs that drove me to the next step. So I want young people to think I could, I could do that. You know, she's just same as anyone else. I could do that too. So I, I, I hope people will think that. I think you're very humble and modest. I doubt luck had as much to do with it as you. I think luck plays a lot in everybody's career. But actually, somebody once said to me, it's not about just being lucky. You've got to realize your luck and then go to the next step. So I think there's a bit of that in all of us. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch more from the Biophysical Society meeting, check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe.